so here while selecting the product version so you check what are the versions you have downloaded what you are going to install it here those things are should be magic here the downloaded exports the version you are selecting here netweaver 7.5 that is a netweaver 7.5 so maybe we can rename the softwares to the netweaver 7.5 also so uh, let me re rename it here so that uh, everyone cannot confuse that one right so that i will rename it here so in the sap software's location netweaver 7.5 exports yes i renamed it here just you can choose it you know select the select, select the sap netweaver 7.5 now no 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 you already in the screen right as wpm session yeah yeah so here the database also database also if you choose the wrongly that is also give the trouble here so here what databases we have in the in system so suppose like MS sql server ms sql server right so choose this one or now you can choose it later after some days you get the experience then you can choose the hana database here then we are doing the hana install sorry sql server installation then choose the installation expand the installation here then so, here we are installing the application server abap we are installing right we are the abap team we are the abap application server abap here so java is the different one again java is the java functionality here so that is the not the browser functionality different not the uh, gui functionality that is the different functionality so that is the reason you need to choose the abap then what is the type of what is the how many what is the type you are installing what is the option you want to install it suppose here we can use the standard one tomorrow when you are working for the one customer he asked you to do the distributed one so we we want this as a production system not the development development you can choose the standard one we want as a distributed or high availability that time you need to choose the respective folder you have to choose it here so if you choose any folder the installation is common giving the inputs everything is common the only thing is so standard means sap plus db both are in the one host only distributed means both are in the different different host high availability means high availability means you have to install the two more sap systems two sap systems the same sad and the two host two databases so that is a different concept again high availability so for the non productions you can use the standard one standard approach just click on the select the standard click on the ok button just check and just check it the one more time so what you chosen here then not a problem we have already chosen the right thing only so here just scroll down scroll down here you already cancelled in the middle right so when you cancel in the middle it will say like how do you what do you want to do you want to start the new option starting from the scratch or you want to continue with the existing run but in the continue with the existing run option if you choose that one you already given the wrong one so it won't take it out here but you can start from the scratch it means start with the new run just to you choose that one click on the next button then it will take you the new screen again it will take you the new screen again here Sir, in the back end already SQL server is installed. Yeah, yeah. SAP, uh, yeah. SQL is installed already. DB first installation uh, we have done it here. Why? Because in the three tier architecture, SAP three tier architecture. So we have the presentation layer, application layer, DB layer. So first we have to install the base. Base meant means so OS we have to install it. On top of OS DB we have to install it. On top of DB we have to install the application. So application database is the first priority here. So you have to install the DB is the first priority here. So DB installation is done. Then only application we have to do it here. Otherwise, what happened? You have not done the DB installation. Then click on the next button. In the next screen, one of the two, three screens after, it will ask the, please provide the database connection parameters. Then that time you have not installed the DB. Then again, you need to go back and install the DB, right? So you are missing the sequence again. So that's the reason. So sequence wise, we have to do first OS, file systems and space, 
then db then after that sap applications But OS is, we are already installing in the OS only now, sir. Yeah, yeah, OS already there. Same OS. So, no problem. Yeah, nice. Mm -hmm. Here, SID. SAP SID you need to give here. So, what is the SID you want to install? You can give the, that SID name here. SID is the three alpha numeric characters here. So, you need to choose the correct SID. Then, click on the next button. Then, that will be finish it here. Now, you can go with the other options also. Right. So, who whoever having any issues? Others? Everyone is okay for the installations? Still anyone left to do installations? Just at least giving the inputs? Yes, sir. I um, need to practice. Okay. You can, uh, yeah, I can utilize this three days, two days time. Today, tomorrow, and the day after tomorrow. Yes, Sunday. Everyone? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But by Sunday, by Sunday night, when you start the morning class by Monday, so system yeah. should be ready here. Why? Because otherwise, we will not progress our uh, again administration activities here. We are just we are discussing the installations only. We are stuck in the installations. Okay. So sure, yeah, that is the one. I just wanted to ask one doubt here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so uh, this is a greenfield, right? So uh, I I'm not sure if this is option. Uh, opting for greenfield or greenfield i just wanted to ask greenfield it's a greenfield installation we are doing okay okay so for the brownfield is it different or brownfield means uh, uh, i will tell you in the examples here uh Sudhir, you can mm -hmm. proceed with the next button and uh, you can continue the next roadmap steps fine right you can proceed right you don't need to navigate all the screens just you can go to the next screen next screen something like that right but uh, you need to provide the inputs. Okay, I'm grabbing your screen. Okay, I'm taking the screen sharing. Just I will give, once since everyone is joined, just I will explain this some uh, important things here while we all are here. Because at least something we need okay. to, something we need to uh, learn here. Okay, so, Installation type, they are the total three types of installations actually. Not the installation types, not the, that is not the correct word. So, here for the new customers, for the new customers who wants to freshly do go for the SAP for their business, that is for the greenfield installation. That is for the greenfield installation. Greenfield means fresh installation. So, there is no data, nothing is there here. Freshly, they are he started the business, freshly. One of my friends started the business. So then he wants to, he need some, he need to, he need SAP applications for supporting their business and everything for booking the orders, payments, so everything. He need the SAP. So that SAP application, that is the green field, the green field means. So the customers already in the other databases. So already in the other business, they were already using the SAP or some other third party applications, they are already using it here. They are already using this one. They are already using this. Uh, thumb, the SAP only they are using, but lower versions they are using. But in that case, we can migrate, we can migrate their data, we can migrate, means we can migrate there for existing customers. For existing customers, I can put this way, for existing customers, when we when we migrate their data, everything to the the latest to versions, latest to hardware, brand new systems. So that is called the so brownfield, brownfield implementation or brownfield installation. Means they have already data, they are already running the business. So if again if they know they install the new one, new system will be installed. What about the existing data? Right? They want existing data with new functionality. Everything should be the new. So, so my friend already having so one of the so food order, food delivery business, food business, right? He already using the some of the 
old systems, old applications you want to, you are using here. So, but you want to go for the latest S4 HANA systems with the HANA database, you want to use it here. In that case, in that case, how it will be? Then brownfield, then that, that implementations, that procedure is called the brownfield means existing data, we are migrating to the, the latest brand new systems here. That is the brown field. So, the recently, maybe one year back, two year back, they come up with the, the black field implementation. Black field. So, this is also very new. Black field. Black field means lift and shift project. Lift and shift their systems to the, lift and shift. There is a, one more migration. This is also for the migrations only. Black field. So, brown, green field, brown field, and black field, many fields. Tomorrow, I'm not sure what field will come, but as of now, we have the three fields we have here, right? But here, we are doing the green field, means fresh installation we are doing. We don't have anything data here. But after some days, when we are discussing the DB topics here, so there is a one option, migration, right? So, means they have already in the existing SQL Server database, non-SAP database here. They want to go for the HANA database that is called the migration, right? That will come in the so brown field here. So now we are doing the freshly, we started the batch kind of fresh installation, kind of brown field. So which means green field installation we are doing here. So when you are doing the installations and everything, so normally it will come up with the, so what, what is, what will happen here when you are doing the installation? When you are performing the installation, here two instances will be created here. One SID will be created. One instance number will be allocated here. So two instances means here, one is the ASPS plus and application server. SAP app server will be created is equal to one SAP system here. SAP means one ACS instance and one application server instance will be created. A square plus B squared formula. So, right? So, which means whenever you install the new SAP system, brand SAP systems here, you will get the two instances here. Suppose like example, let me show you in the other systems. So, this is the SAP screen. And this is the SAP screen looks like here, right? This is the SAP screen. So, how it will be look like here? This is the screens, looks like the SAP screen here. So this SAP will be installed when you've done the installation here. In MMC, you will, you will see the desktop in the MMC. MMC will be created. In the MMC, you will see the systems, whatever the installation you have done it, all the systems will come to the displays here. Suppose if you put the ECP, ECD, something like that, your all SAP systems will come to the like this here. So, which means you see the green status here. Green means, your SAP systems are up and running here. Green means SAP systems are up and running means, which means under the each SID, under the each SID here, you see two instances here. Under the each SID, you see the two instances here, two instances here, right? So once you've done the complete installation, you will see the one SID. <coughs> under, you will see the one SID here. Under that, you will see the, so two instances here. One is the ASCS instance. Second one is the application server instance here. Sir, how can we say, is there any name written here? This is like ACS, this is the SCS means. So how can we identify means that I will explain after you done the installation here. But basically when you done the installation, two instances will be created in the green color. Under the SID, each SID, there is a two instance by default here, right? So this is the SAP systems here. These are the SAP systems here. This SAP systems we have to connect to through your GUI. SAP GUI is the one of the tool to open the SAP applications here. To log into the SAP application, you need the SAP logon pad here in the presentation layer, right? So that is the main thing here. So why? Because the architecture of the SAP is like presentation layer, then application layer and a DB layer here. So application layer. <clears throat> in the application, this is the SAP application layer, right? When you install the SAP application layer here, you see two instances will be created. One is the, so SPS inst ASCS instance. Second one is the, two will be created. So in the application layer, two instances, 
instances two instances will be created here so one is the application layer one is the app server here so this will communicate to the you communicate to the here and this will communicate to the here and this will communicate to the here this is the the overall the process flow of the sap here right this will communicate to the here the sequence wise steps will be happen into the sap systems here so now what you are doing so here here you are here you are doing the installation of the this layer this sap layer you are doing the installation here this sap layer you are doing the installation here so in this sap layer you are doing the installation but it is creating the two instances inside that one two instances it is creating here one is the app server the second one is the ascs instance it is created in the two instances here so these two are called the here you are building the two instances here this box this box you are building here these two boxes you are building here while doing the installation here any sap installation two boxes you are building here so right so this is what you want to do so for the installation here right without doing this one how can we log into the sap how can we do the our activities it's not possible that's why installation is our first to priority for the sap basis consultant right so here you will get the one sid two instances you will get it out here apart from that apart from that during the installation what is happening in the installation it will ask the list of users passwords for the all the users it is asking right password for the all the users here password for the all the users means here one is the so here two three layers the passwords will be created here one is the os layer and sap layer and the db layer here in the operating system layer here you see sid adm user will be created here and also the db sap layer sap star and ddic users will be created here in the database layer here so sid db sid adm will be created so this part you can ignore it for now okay so for now os when you are doing the installation normally in one of the page it is asking the please provide the password for the all the users all the users then you are providing the one password all the users means what are the users are creating here so one is the operating system user two are the sap level users are creating here why because when you are want to log into the sap system which user will you use why well, you need one user id right so common user id you have to use it here these are the user id is creating this is the sap sid edm users are creating here so this is the one of the important question sometimes they may ask you so you done the installation you seems to be kept in the one role like you done the installation can you please explain what exactly is creating during the installation in the installation when you are doing the installation two instances will be created then there are a couple of users will be created so couple of users means can you explain in deep little bit more so os level one user sap level two users db level one more user will be created okay that's perfect perfectly fine here when it will be created during the installation time here so when this installation instance will be created here during the installation so all will be created during the installation sir what is mean by sid adm here sid adm means suppose if you give the dev dev adm user user is will be created here dev adm will be created if you use the prd then prd adm will be created here if you use the xyz xyz adm user is created here so like that each sid one user is created here in the system right this is sap level users db level users so this is the main instances here so okay that you will get some clarity here right so once you perfect once installation is done then what next here we need to log into the our sap systems here right so once you done the installation so i have to install the sap logon pad here sap gui is the one of the tool to log into the sap systems here to log into the sap system you need the sap gui sap logon pad is required here so that i have to install in this machine so that so by monday all will be we can once you done the installation systems are available in the mmc here here nothing is there why because we have not done the any installations here here there is no gui nothing is there here so what you can do we can you can use the service you can yes. just complete the installations here so complete the installations then so system on system are ready 
then we can discuss lot of things we have to discuss here 